Good morning, friends. I'm Dr. Saurabh Mittal. I represent Ford School of Management, New Delhi. So in today's uh, session, I'm going to talk about data visualization with Tableau. Tableau is an exciting software which is being used for business intelligence by majority of the companies. So uh, users can actually create some wonderful graphics here. You can actually convert that into some interactive dashboards and the uh, best part that I like in uh, Tableau is about visual storytelling. So rather than showing those plain facts and figures, the numbers, you are having that opportunity to create some wonderful graphics here. So uh, here you can actually connect to various files. You can connect to the data which is coming from some relational databases or big data. And uh, from various software, different, different uh, types of data can be uh, blended into one solution here. And here we can have the real-time collaboration as well. In your team, you might be having multiple people and uh, you can help them with uh, sharing your work and you can uh, ask their contribution as well. So why we are talking about Tableau? Why not some other solutions? Why not MS Excel? So there are multiple uh, reasons because of which Tableau is being preferred, right? So as I was talking about various views we can create, various databases we can, we can club into one. Right, so you, it gives you the speed of analysis. You are self-reliant, so there is no complex software. There is no need to understand lots of programming skills. Right, so lots of data uh, can be discovered with the help of visual uh, options here. So there are architecture agnostics, real-time collaboration, centralized data. So these are some important features. So how do we work upon a Tableau data analysis report? You can first connect to the data source. You can find out what are the various dimensions and measures, and you can apply some visualization techniques. So friends, when you open your Tableau software, you will see the first screen like this, right? Where you have to uh, first select your data. Uh, so some of the data set that is uh, inbuilt with Tableau that is super stored. So it is having three tables, orders, people, and returns. So this data set you can uh, use for your Tableau data analysis. So I would like to start with uh, some hands-on exercise and uh, it is going to help you in understanding this topic better. I'm just starting my Tableau software. Just give me some moment. So this is how your software will open Tableau first screen. So here you have the option of connecting to various types of files, whether it's, it is Excel file, Tableau, will accept your text file, JSON file, MS Access, so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do right now, I am having some data set that is being uh, inbuilt with Tableau. That is Superstore data set I'm selecting. So it is uh, all MS Excel file, right? You can see here, MS Excel 97. Probably I'll have to reshare my screen. Okay, so I'm just selecting the option of selecting screen, okay? I hope my screen is visible to you. So now we are having three tables here, orders table, people table, and returns table. First of all, I'll uh, work upon orders table. I'm dragging it here. So you can see a complete list of rows which are available here. So it is showing you 21 fields and 10,194 rows, right? And in the lower right section, you can see some of the glimpses of data, what kind of data we have, right? So all this data can be managed with the help of Tableau. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, click on this section in, in the footer, you can, you can see there's an option for adding a new worksheet, right? The moment you click on it, you will be having all those table uh, data, all the measures and uh, various columns will be shown here. If I want to see what kind of orders have been created, so what I'm going to do, order date I'm selecting and I'm dropping it on the column. So by default, what it has done out of those 10,000 records that we had, it has clubbed them into four different uh, years. So 2019, 20, 21, 22. So you are having this data and I want to see what kind of uh, sales figures are there, right? So what I can do here is, so this is my measure, right? So dimension was my year and measure is sales. So this measure I'm going to select and I'm simply dropping it on the second column. So it is telling me that in 2019, uh, there was a sale of 494,000 and 2020, you had sales of 472,993 and so on. 
if you are interested in uh, looking at it visually what you can do on the right side there is an option for show me right on the top you can see and by default you'll be having many uh, charts which are visible here you can select any one of them so for example the simplest version is the bar chart i can simply click on it and you are able to see what is the trend in the sales of your company so uh, one more thing that i can do here is the sales uh, because for all the four years it is showing you the identical chart right what i can do i can split it into a uh, quarters right so uh, in this uh, horizontal bar of rows you can simply click on this plus sign and what it is doing now now your data has been split into quarters okay so quarterly you can see the sales performance now if i'm interested in looking at uh, what is the sales maybe i want to highlight it with the help of colors so i can simply select this sum and I can put it in the colors. I can drop it here. Okay, so sales figure has to be there. And now what it is saying that these bars are showing uh, my sales figures and the maximum sales will be darkest in blue color and the least sale will be lightest in blue color. If I want to change my graphic, I don't want this bar chart. I want to show it uh, probably with the help of some uh some more graphics so i can select it like this so here we have the data of uh, tabular format and this data i'm going to put into rows right so what it is showing now it is saying that in quarter one quarter two quarter three and quarter four in 2019 this was the sales similarly 2020 so four quarters sales which is being depicted here okay so that's all for now. I hope uh, in the next session, uh, you will be learning some more dimensions, some more graphics, some interesting dashboards. Okay, thank you.